Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to use the SMK25-2 with FL Studio. Let's dive right in. First, open your FL Studio and head to the MIDI settings. Once you've selected the MIDI script, ensure that both the input and output are set to the same port. You'll know everything is set up correctly when you see the opening animation. Now, let's look at the main interface. On the top left, you'll see four pads that represent channel mode, sequencer mode, mixer mode, and instrument mode. On the top right, there are four buttons for navigation, up, down, left, and right. The first five buttons in the second row are your transport controls. The last three buttons are for the metronome, switching between pattern and song, and the undo function. That's your main view overview. Press the MCP button to access the mode settings. In channel mode, the top encoder adjusts volume for the selected channel, and holding the first pad in the second line while rotating the encoder changes the track's panning. Add an instrument and you'll see these pads light up to indicate existing channels. The two buttons here are for navigating up and down through your channels. When navigating, a white light moves along. One button mutes the selected channel while another solos it. If a channel is soloed, all others are muted. The Quantize button is here too. There's also a button for opening the graph editor and another for accessing channel plugins or settings. Next up, Sequencer mode. Here, the 16 pads represent 16 grid bits for each channel. I'll add some kicks, claps, and hi-hats by clicking the pads and rotating the knob to different channels. Play it back in the main view. In mixer mode, the first row controls the master track. Rotating the knob adjusts the master volume and a purple pad mutes the master. Holding this pad switches the knobs to adjust panning instead of volume. There are six green pads for muting individual tracks and eight pads for soloing them. Two blue buttons help navigate through tracks or you can use the last knob for this. Finally, instrument mode. Not all pads light up here as they simulate piano keys. The bottom row for white keys and the top for sharp keys. When I switch to the FPC, the pad lights change to indicate automatic mapping. And that's a complete rundown on integrating the SMK25-2 with FL Studio. Thanks for watching.